in regards to a trade agreement between the UK and the EU in the event that we did leave, um, I would direct you to uh, the Boris Johnson backed report which you can see down in the references. Boris Johnson is certainly in agreement with us leaving the EU and there is no consensus within the current Conservative cabinet. Um, there, there's a mix of opinion. Some want us to leave, some want us to stay and some are still making up their minds. So the question has to be asked, why are we having a referendum? I think there's two questions to that. Number one, in 2009, um, David Cameron berated Gordon Brown for having not agreed to a referendum which he'd previously agreed on. In 2005, all of the major political parties promised a referendum on the European Constitution. Why does this matter? Why do we need a referendum? And why do we need one now? First, why this matters. The European Constitution, now called the Lisbon Treaty, includes a massive transfer of powers from the nation states of Europe to Brussels. It ends our veto, our right to say no, in about 60 areas. It sets up a permanent president of the European Union, a foreign minister, a diplomatic service. It gives the European Union the right to sign treaties and to pass new treaties, new constitutions, without asking us again, the people of Europe. Why do we need a referendum? Well, I think when our parliament is giving up powers, is passing powers to someone else, they should ask us first, the people, in a referendum. So you can use June the 4th, this Thursday, the European elections, to demand a referendum from Gordon Brown. The referendum he promised, along with everyone else, back in 2005. The best way to get that referendum is to vote Conservative. Don't you think all of us should have a say in the referendum that we were promised? And number two, I think the biggest reason we're having this referendum is the support for UKIP since 2013 has increased massively. As you can see from the uh, 2014 EU MEP elections, in the UK UKIP came first. In the May 2015 general election we came third. We are an important party. We've overtaken the Lib Dems. We're bigger than the SNP. We are an important party. It doesn't matter that we've only got, at the moment, one MP in Parliament. We still account for a large number of people in the UK. There's a large number of Labour and Conservative MPs and Cabinet Ministers who do not want us to be in the EU. I don't think the referendum should be a partisan discussion. I think what Nigel Farage has done to get us to where we are now is the sole reason we're having this referendum, backed up by the sheer volume of people that have voted UKIP. And UKIP, once upon a time, only had one policy, and that policy was for the UK to leave Europe. We're now a proper political party with policies covering everything and if you want to see it in the link I will put the manifesto uh, which was independently uh, accounted for during the election and we were the only party to do that. Now that we aren't in the general election uh, Nigel Farage has said that he will not be concentrating on party politics he will be instead dealing with the EU. That's slightly gone a bit wobbly because we now have the Oldham by-election but generally um, Nigel Farage is only concentrating on the referendum question. I would say um, have a look at the David Cameron 2009 uh, video and I think his uh, about face in the way that he's currently dealing with the EU question and how he was in opposition is quite telling. At the moment we don't know when the referendum will be. Um, it could be in 2016, it could be in 2017. Uh, Mr Cameron has, did say if he was re-elected in May it would be before the end of Parliament in 2017. I personally think it's probably going to be round about May or October 2016. I suspect that his renegotiations or alleged renegotiations with the EU uh, will dictate strongly how he decides to call that referendum. 
So, as I said, it was only a short video to discuss the referendum. There's going to be, hopefully, over the coming weeks and months, more and more videos that look at all the issues related to the EU. Um, and when we have enough videos, we are going to set up a separate account on YouTube that will be devoted solely to the referendum. And Forking Politics will be devoted solely to uh, politics. To finish the uh, discussion, we would like to point out the number of uh, groups that you can join if you are interested in finding out more. At the moment, there appears only to be one serious group that wants to stay in the EU. Uh, that was announced recently by Lord Rose, who is the former CEO of Marks and Spencers. And I have to say, um, it was, uh, to use a 1980s um, phrase, it was like watching someone being gulled by a dead sheep. His um, entire platform appeared to be, or that's how it's come across, is you're not patriotic if you want to leave the EU. And that's a bizarre thing to say given the sovereignty issue. I think by staying in the EU, we lose our sovereignty and as the Various reports have shown the EU wants to take even more power away from local parliaments. So I think you're more patriotic if you want to leave the EU than you are to stay. However, there are a number of Leave the EU campaign groups. I'm personally uh, back in the Vote Leave group. They are really well resourced and the amount of data that they're producing is really beneficial. Uh, the other groups is the uh, Better Off Out, they're very good. Say No to EU, which is backed by UKIP. Um, Get Britain Out, Campaign for an Independent uh, Britain. There's uh, also some other political parties that you may be interested in that are Eurosceptic. That's the Referendum Party, the Populist Party, We Demand a Referendum Now Party, and No to EU Party. Um, as I said, all the links are down in the description and you can also go to my website and find resources there. Thank you very much and I'll see you again soon.